Alright, what is up guys? It's Nathan back again and we're doing another video and this time it is unboxing video. And it's going to be a big one because we got four trucks unboxed today. Now you see this in the back, but first we're going to go over this card. So, as you guys can see, this is, I want to say Case K, because I'm pretty sure that's what this is, is Case K. As you guys have seen, I have Rottweiler. If you haven't seen it, I have Rottweiler. I've got El Toro, I don't need El Toro. I just need the rest of these. Now, I've heard something about Alien. Someone's been, I've been talking to someone about an Alien, so, but it's not, it's nothing concrete yet. And sorry for the card being messed up. This thing's been in, 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 our, in my truck for a while, so it's kind of messed up. But, yes, yeah, so the rest of the case, and we'll mark these off as we go so you guys know what we need. Now, first, let's take a look at this as we have... Color Treads, number three of four, you can see the yellow tread. We have Higher Education Color Treads, a truck I am very, very glad to have, finally. This thing, I've been dying to get my hands on this thing, so let's go ahead and check it out. It's real in the package here. You can see the 25th logo there on the back. The flag, the Higher Education name down there. This truck looks pretty good. I'm not the biggest Higher Education fan, but you know what, I can deal with it. As I'm moving, I'm bumping stuff over here on the side that's for later. Let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. A little higher so I can get out the flag first. There we go. There we go. Higher education out of the package. The package is going bye bye. As I bump the camera, okay, I should get this set a little lower. All right, there we go. Take away the name card. I'll put that in my little stash of cards behind the. Backdrop. So here we go, guys. This is the Higher Education Keller Treads. My oh my, this truck actually doesn't look bad. Not gonna lie, this thing actually does not look bad. Let me move the camera over just a tad. So yeah, this thing, it's not bad. Uh, it's not much different from the old Higher Education. It's just graphics. Look a little clear. And it's got the yellow color tread, so not much to talk about. It does have the new Monster Ham logo. Hot Wheels logo on the side. The PPG. Now, I do want to put some out. I've noticed that this. This graphic right here, this PPG. Yeah, it's not my, there we go. That PPG logo is actually run on the Bigfoot trucks, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, you can see you got Safety Clean, k and I think that's Capital. So you got an emergency exit over the top. It's got the door decal, and that's the lines downside. This isn't a bad truck. I just personally never been the biggest fan of higher education. Got the cool bus top there. It's the lights as they're reflecting off all my lights down here. So it's kind of cool. It kind of gives that effect of like the lights are actually flashing. As it's trying to fight the focus. Focus is just trying to fight itself. There you go. Cool bus. You got the grill. Yeah, I never noticed that it's got this little line here for the bumper. It's got the headlights. See decals. The only other decals to add on this side is the little stop sign, which is actually a 3D part of the, or actually 3D part of the body, which is cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at the flag. It's got cool bus with the Hot Wheels logo on one side and higher education on the other side with the Monster Jam logo. And this plugs in here. Now, something I do want to point out is on monsterjam.com. They actually had the flag like this, and everybody was laughing hysterically in a Google Hangout and Skype that I was in, because we were like, the flag is on backwards, because, yeah. The flag doesn't go here, it goes here, if I can find it, there. It goes like that on the back of the bus, but they had it on the front of the bus, so... 
There you go, so there's Higher Education Color Tread. It's not my favorite thing I picked up recently, but it is pretty cool. Put him down here by the comparison trucks. So the next truck is, again, not much different than its old predecessor. This one is actually from H-I-J-K-L. Okay, so I think this is from case L here. So you see Higher Education. I'm actually going to go ahead and do this real quick on the back here. Uh, higher Education do not need... So don't need that. Also, on this one, on this other one down here, I can mark it off. There. So mark that off. Both of them. So don't need higher education. So that means out of this case, uh, I don't think I, I don't think I need dragon, but I might get it just for the sake of having the flag. Same with Batman. And then you got Crusader and New Northern Nightmare. All make up the case. But the truck we have is in the Epic Editions line. Here you see Epic Editions, number 9 of 10. It is Soldier Fortune Black Ops. Again, not much of different with this truck from the one released last year in 2016 with the Ramp Series. It's just it's missing its gun, like it will be in 2018. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. I can get the flag out. That one actually came out relatively easy. There you go with Soldier Fortune Black Ops, and the package can go bye bye as I hit my display right next to me. Alright, so this truck should show up pretty easy because this is actually a pretty bright background compared to the dark truck. Maybe. Let me kinda... There we go. So here's Black Ops. Uh, again, not much different than the old one. Uh, I have one up in the package up there, but I don't feel like getting it down because I'll knock down like four other trucks with it. But yeah, here we go, Soldier Fortune Black Ops. Uh, so you see there, the Soldier Fortune Black Ops logo. Not bad as he's rolling away. So, I like that. I, the Soldier Fortune is a little cut off, but I can understand with it being in such a small spot. Over here, you have the Monster Jam logo in black and white. Or should I say black and gray? You got the Hot Wheels logo and the backwards American... Actually, no, wait, that's not backwards. I'm an idiot. Uh, American flag. There. Actually, right there, it's... The post is so far up, you can see the post right through the window. That's cool. I, do, I like this casting. It's really cool to have Soldier Fortune Black Ops in this... 2017 lights got the red lights on top, which actually doesn't have in real life. It has white, kind of the regular lights on top, but it does have the red lights in the back. And here you get a nice view of the Soldier Fortune Black Ops logo. At, that's just a beautiful look right there. I like, I just love the way that the red lights here just look. It just looks so nice. And they are, as you can see here in the back, they are 3D, as you can see here. I don't know how well you guys can hear that. It's like that. Uh, there. Oh, there's some. Oh, I got one with mold flashing. Oh, wait. There's this. Oh, no, it's just a. Uh, must have been off this thing. I didn't even notice that in the package. Besides, I got this in O'Reilly Auto Parts. Same with the with the next one. With higher rotation and the next one I'm going to show. But, yeah. So, there's Soldier Fortune. Same decals as on the... Other side, but just different. <laughs> oh, it's same with, I forgot to mention on higher education, both trucks have BKT tires, just like lat, or the rest of the trucks will for the next coming few years. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the flag. Now, something that Moshe Mosi did point out, or pointed out in his video is this is a black and white flag on here. But, actually... It's black and white, but if you also look, it also has a, it's got the hint of color to it, so it's actually kind of a muted, very, very heavily muted red and blue to where it's almost a black color, or at least for the red, or I should say the blue, because, wait, red, white, red, white, yeah, for the red, sorry, yeah. So there you go, you got Soldier Fort Fortune Black Ops. Uh... Sorry, bumped the autofocus, didn't mean to do that. With the Hot Wheels logo in the dog tag on the other side. 
You have Soldier Fortune Black Ops with the Monster GM logo. So I like it's kind of got the Black Ops logo on both sides, but it's different because this one has the dog tags, this one doesn't. As, as usual with all the, the trucks this year, they flag plugs right onto the back of the truck. So that completes the look of this truck. It actually looks really nice. I don't mind it. It looks really cool. It's nice to have this truck without the gun, even though it was had it last year. And it's got the oh, it's got the molding for the wires to go up to the to the lights on top, and you see the indent for the gun. So if, potentially, if you wanted, even though it wouldn't make a difference, you can take the gun off the old one and put it on this one. There you go, Soldier Fortune Black Ops. Now getting into some of the fun ones that I'm really excited to have. So the next one is from Case K. And uh, so we done higher education. I have Rottweiler. Don't need El Toro, so there's only there's only four left that it could be. Oh, well, five. There's Gas Monkey, Titan, Ice Cream Man, Alien Invasion, and Cletus. But you guys see there's only one truck that was in this series, and that is Cletus, the FS1 Cletus. This is really nice. It's an X-ray body, so I'm kind of iffy on it, but you know what? I like it, so let's go ahead and crack it open. There we go. Package goes bye-bye. All right, so here we go. FS1 Cletus, take care of this piece. Oh, did I get the thing out of the other? Did I get my thing out of Black Ops? Yeah, I think I did, yeah. Cause, yeah, because it's right here. It's in front of the zombie. All right, so here we go. The FS1 Cletus truck. Now this truck. This is a nice truck. Try to get the glare off of it. There you go. There's the FS1 Cletus, the X-rays. You can kind of see here. It's got the kind of smoky front end, as you can see here. Kind of see through it. Up to the hood. And now this is kind of cool. It's like it goes from the smoky part, and then all the graphics are laid up here. Except for these little pillars here, and I think like maybe back here a little bit but this truck is epic i love this chrome the the chrome chassis is good but just out the fs1 stuff it, it's actually really really clear honestly like take a look here at the fs1 logo it's a little grainy but i can forgive it for being on this body with like this design as it's awesome See, it's got a metal base, so no rivet or screw to take out to customize it. Gray rims, which I really like it when trucks come with gray rims, like the Gold Max D later this year, or that I'm going to be finding later, hopefully. Uh, it's definitely, I like it. I also need to pull the rim. Hey, didn't notice that. Mine's going to mess up uh, wheel casting for the BKT, so I'll have to take care of that with an exacto knife later. But yeah. FS1 Cletus, another one got out of O'Reilly Auto Parts, which was shocking. And with the x-ray bodies, you can take them off, as you can see these clear posts up in here. Uh, I'm not going to take it off, because I don't want to risk snapping these posts. I know they're really durable, but it's just like, also, if you push down, you're going to risk bending these wheels out of position, so I'm not going to take it off, because I don't want to. This thing just looks do cool. So you see here, you got the new Monster Jam logo. Or the 2016 and on Hot Wheels logo. Or, sorry, Monster Jam logo and the new 2017 Hot Wheels logo. You've got the FS1 Cletus robot on the side. You notice here, it does not say FS or Cletus anywhere on the truck, but on the package it does say Cletus. Like right there, it says Cletus. But all on this truck, it says FS1. Now, this is not the current design. They actually changed it to where I think the robot's actually about little further more than halfway back like i think halfway over the wheel well and the fs1's not here it's just up on the on the hood or it might be down here i don't remember they changed it up see fs1 on the tailgate that is not there on the current truck i think there's no fs1 logo on it it's just the robot here is turned this way and this long ways on here and oh, i like that 
that feel was really cool. I don't know if you guys hear that. I like that feel. That's awesome. That's awesome. Let's take a look at the flag. This FS1 flag is really cool. So you got the FS1 with the Cletus robot and Hot Wheels logo. And on this side, you just have the Fox Sports 1 robot, the FS1 logo, and the Monster Jam logo. So it's literally just flip-flop, but on this side, the Cletus robot is bigger. So there you go. Go ahead and mount it on the back. Ugh. Okay. That's only. Oh, I see why. Oh, this. That's right. the The flags don't like the, the flags don't like staying on the metal base trucks very well because they don't go all the way in to the body. Because there is actually. Just like on my, um, Jester, you see that little piece right down here. See this little lip right here that I'm against? That stops the flag from going in very far. So instead of having your flag pushed in close like this, Cletus has it always sticking out quite a bit further as you can see like Cletus it sticks out way further than like on Black Ops so that kind of bugs me but you know what you could always do is take the flag off of this and put it on this and that doesn't look bad if this had the gray rims I think I'd like it better but hey you, know, you never know what's gonna happen with it so again there you go the FS1 Cletus awesome truck can't wait to send it down the downhill, which we might do at the end of this video. But there's one more truck that I want to show you guys before this video is over. And it is probably my favorite that I bought over the last two weeks. So here we have, I think it's Case N. Which is the VP Mad Scientist case. And this case is very cool. I have seen the trucks I just haven't been able to buy them the only one i've been able to buy is metal militia so trucks in this case are the mud treads vp mega rex green which has been out in the demolition doubles but i'm not gonna pick that up because i don't need to because i already have a jurassic attack and now I, and i'm on the hunt for this bounty hunter with the blue roll cage compared to the yellow one that's in the five pack i'll probably end up getting the five pack one of these days purple color treads grave digger Cool truck, I've not seen it yet. And then we have Metal Militia, which is absolutely awesome. So let's take a look at Metal Militia. I just realized, I said the only truck I had is Metal Militia, and I was trying not to reveal it, but I'm an idiot. Oh, well. So here you go, guys. Metal Militia, even though I revealed it too early, because I'm el stupido. El stupido. I'm just checking some stuff, okay. But, Yeah. Metal Militia. Let's crack into this bad boy because this is awesome. This is the Matt Byton design for 2017 after Todd LaDuke was taken out of it and put into Monster Energy. The truck will unfortunately probably never get. Here we have it. Metal Militia. Card art, same as like the other card art from the years. Like I'm looking up here, like I can see. Uh. Where is it? I'm trying to find my little militia up there. Oh, it's behind my backing, so I don't can't show you it. But yeah, metal militia. I'm pretty sure it's the same as the old metal militia card. Now let's take a look at this 2017 militia. Now I want to pull out the regular militia for the comparison real quick, just because like these two look stellar together. So you have on the right, on stay or right, yeah, my right, your guys' right. You have the old school Metal Militia, which was the one that ran from around, I think, 2013. Because they originally it was an all black design, and then they went to this camo in the back. So I think this came around 2014. Or no, 2013. And then that ran all the way up until 2016, where after 20... Or it ran all the way up to the winter of 2016, and then... And then 
beginning of 2017, we saw this design. So, let's take this metal militia, metal militia out. We'll look at it in a minute. And we're going to jump right into checking out the new metal militia. And, oh my gosh, I am in love with this truck because this thing is absolutely phenomenal. Except for this little piece of rubber that was hanging off the tire. But anyway, dude, this thing is so sick. This metal militia, the matte paint is so nice. Okay, this one's got a little scuff there, but that that's no big deal. I was looking at my other one that doesn't, and it doesn't appear to have. Ah, one sec, let me look. Yeah, no, this one's just got a little scuff on it, but that's fine. It'll be sent down the downhill. But you see, the matte black finish of this thing is sweet. You have the metal militia army. Undead army down the side of the truck, which just looks absolutely phenomenal. You got the Hot Wheels logo, the Monster Jam logo. You got kind of the blood coming from the back and kind of from the front splattered and up, going around the Metal Militia skull. See a soldier here. See all the rib cages and stuff down through here. You got a soldier back here. You got an undead skull here. Just some brilliant look. And now this is cool. I like this. They updated the Monster Jam World Finals logo. I don't think this is something Ryan posted or said in his video. Because if you look here, this over here is the old World Monster Jam logo. And over here is the new logo. So it's really, really cool. And I bumped the screen to cause the autofocus to mess it up. There, trying to get it to focus on the trucks. Yeah, these two look epic. But if I had to choose one, I'd definitely choose the 2017 one. See the army on the other side. Same as the as that. Take a look at the top. It's got the reflective Deegan 38 on the top, which looks great. You see all the bones and all the of all the soldiers and stuff, which is epic. And you got the the Dual Arrow lo Metal Militia logo, which looks so sick. I love this truck. This, this thing is awesome. Probably the four I've gotten, this is my favorite. Now let's take a look at the flag. It's probably one of my favorite flags of the year because the Metal Militia flag, you see it's got the Metal Militia logo. It's got a rib cage right above the skull. And as you see, as it fades to black, you see all kinds of like other little details. I think I see a face between the Hot Wheels and the metal and the metal logo. And on this side, Monster Jam logo and the logo that's on the hood. So you see there, they just kind of enlarged and flipped it. And then for this logo, they pretty much just chopped this logo here, like off here, and just kind of made it. Which, that looks so sick, and I can't wait to see what this thing... This truck is right, it looks so sick with the flag on. Yep. That completes the look. This... This truck, the Metal Militia is absolutely sick. We'll bring in the other four, as this one's gonna bug the living crap out of me, because it's not all the way pushed in. So we're gonna go ahead and Pull the camera back just a little bit. And we're just going to take a look around. We're going to slowly bring each truck around and show you guys how awesome these things look in person. I'm going to move the camera over just a tad so we're more centered. And just a phenomenal set of trucks here. I love it. I see we got three from or two from case l or k one from l and i want to say one's from m or n i want to say that's n case n uh but if you guys seen i can't wait to get case q because it's got the megalodon the truck who a lot of people said i drive but i don't i wish i did but yeah a nice little spin around of these a little quicker so i hope you guys enjoyed Tell me which your guys' favorite of these four is. I can tell you right now, mine is definitely the Metal Militia. I mean, if I had to rank these in order, it'd probably go Metal Militia, Fox Sports 1, 
Black Ops and then Higher Education as Higher Education takes a crash off the table. Or not the table, but the little stand. No, that's fine. He just fell like an two inches to the um, tabletop. But yeah. Uh, absolutely amazing set of trucks here. Again, Militia might be my favorite. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And hopefully you guys will be ready for the next video because I got another set of trucks coming. Probably it'll be up tomorrow. And then I might have another unboxing after that. Depends on what, how many trucks I get soon. But you know what, guys? There's going to be a lot of videos coming later on. And we'll... And I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know again what you guys liked it. Which is your favorite down below. And if you guys feel inclined, you can like and subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it's up to you. But, hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video.